everyone and welcome to a very crafty fall video. Today I have a step-by-step -step tutorial of how to make the cutest little DIY mushroom light, which you can actually see here next to me in its off form right now. I'll turn it on for the end after we do the reveal. This project was one that I saw on TikTok and I thought it was incredibly cute and was like I could totally make this and I wanted to show you how to do it. It is super simple. You need some basic materials that we'll go over. I also actually did this project entirely live on my Twitch channel, which could have been a disaster because I was pretty much just making it up as I went, but hey, it worked out great and I wanted to share the step-by-step -step process with you. Okay, so before we get into the full tutorial, I'm just gonna give you a rundown of all the supplies that you will need. So to start, you're gonna need some piece of wood. This is the piece that I am using. It's very unique and cool shaped. I love all the little features it has, but you could also just use a branch, really anything that you find that you like the unique look of for this. You will also need some fairy lights, roughly seven to 10 feet in length, I would say would be best, but I would just get a few because you might need more than one, which is what I actually ended up needing for this project. Just the battery powered kind are fine. I will show you later in the tutorial the specific kind that I used, but fairy lights are a must. You will also need a hot glue gun with a lot of extra hot glue sticks. You're going to need some craft moss. You'll also need something that you can apply hot glue to and peel it off easily. I used a blank glass like picture frame, a spare one that I had, but you could also use acetate for this. Anything you can apply hot glue on that you can peel it off easily. You're going to need some scissors and you're going to need some mica powder if you want to decorate this kind of the way that I did. So here is the full list. It will also be down in the description box. And then we will get into the tutorial. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make the caps for our mushrooms. So plug in your hot glue gun, make sure it is nice and hot, and then start forming circles of hot glue on your surface. Make different sizes so you can have different size mushrooms. And once each one has dried, you can peel it up and then you can kind of take the metal hot end of the hot glue gun, carefully of course, and kind of touch it to the underside and start to carve away a little bit to give that dome shape that a mushroom has, kind of that concave look. That step is optional. You can also just use the flat little like coins as tops and that works just fine. But if you wanna give them a little bit more depth, you can kind of carve that out with the hot glue tip. And once you have a bunch made, I think I made about 25 to begin with. So I'd have some if they didn't work out and whatnot, just set them aside and you'll move on to step two. So the next step in this process is to rig up the lights onto your wooden base. These are going to form the stems of our mushrooms as well as provide the glow, of course, with a little individual LEDs on the fairy lights. So I started by making sure that my switch for the lights was going to be hidden from the front display view, but also accessible because that is quite important. And once I figured out where I wanted that placed, I hot glued it into place, again, making sure the switch is accessible. The next step is to kind of gauge where I wanted the mushrooms to go. So I'm kind of trying to figure out in my head where they're gonna be placed because I have to start running the lights and the stems there. So I need to try and navigate how to form all of the stems while continuing to run the wire along the wood piece while also trying to make sure as much of the wire is hidden towards the back as possible. I feel like explaining it in words sounds very complicated, but it's honestly not that difficult, I promise. To actually form the mushroom lights, you're just gonna start twisting the fairy lights with a single isolated LED at the top like this. You're gonna twist that off and then basically make the stem shape as tall as short as you want it for however tall or short you want the mushroom to be. So I've isolated that little LED at the top and now I'm kind of just twisting it and placing it and figuring out how tall I want this mushroom to be. And then I'll put a little bit of hot glue down and glue it into place where I want it. In this case, I think I formed the second stem before I glued down the first one, but honestly, this is kind of just figured out as you go in terms of when it makes sense to glue down the stems and how you keep forming them. So you just repeat that process by isolating off an LED light and kind of twisting it into place to form the stem shape and height that you want. 
and then continue along your piece of wood until you have mushroom stems placed wherever you want mushrooms. And as you go, I recommend kind of spot hot gluing the cord down or the wire down to make sure it is hidden as much as possible out of like the front display view. I tried to hide all the wire in the back so that way it wouldn't be as visible when the whole thing was done. It's also worth noting that the fairy lights I was using were seven feet in length, and that was actually not enough to completely cover the length of this piece of wood that I had selected. So I ended up using a second one because I had a 12 pack of these, which is why I kind of mentioned in the beginning, get extra perhaps just so you don't run out. I used the second one and it added it on the other side of the wood feature and started running it in from that side to finish out where I wanted all of my mushrooms to be. Once you have all of your mushroom stems formed with the fairy lights, it's now time to give them a bit of structure, which we do by coating them all in hot glue. So this is another one to definitely be careful with because burning yourself with hot glue sucks, but you're basically just going to coat every mushroom stem that you made with the fairy lights on all sides in hot glue. These are still pretty malleable even once they dry, so you can still adjust the form and shape of your stem a bit as you go after the hot glue has been applied, so don't worry about how perfect it is. You can also use, again, that metal tip of your hot glue gun to kind of smooth anything out and touch up any mistakes that may happen. So if you have kind of a blobby spot or a portion you just don't love, it's totally fixable. Just use carefully that hot end of the hot glue gun and just kind of use it to sculpt and shape the hot glue into what you want. So coat all of your LED mushroom stems with hot glue and then you're ready to finally attach our mushroom caps on and it really starts to come together. Applying the mushroom caps is definitely one of my favorite parts of this because then it really, really starts to take shape and you can tell just how cute it's going to be at the end. So take all of the caps that you have made and basically arrange them how you're gonna want to attach them to the stems. So what I did was set them down in sort of the arrangement you see here to figure out, okay, I want this grouping here, this grouping here, and then you just go through and start gluing them on. You put a little dollop of hot glue right in the center and stick it to the top of the stem. I tilted mine a little bit kind of forward so the tops were facing forward because that again is the display side and I just think it looks a little better to hide the top of the LED light stem a little bit but adjust them however you want and then you're ready to move on to adding the moss. the final step of this project which is to add in the moss and it really just brings this whole piece together perfectly and it just is like the icing on the cake of such a cute little craft so I started by placing the moss where I wanted it first without gluing any of it down because I wanted to make sure it was well balanced I wanted to make sure I had all the pieces exactly how I needed them before I started gluing anything so I arranged them all along the wood piece where I wanted them, covering any wires that I wanted, adding in any just for decoration. Um, I would definitely recommend placing them all around the base of your mushroom stems, mainly because I think it really helps give the effect that they're growing out of your wood base as opposed to just glued on. Of course, it hides the hot glue and any of the wire bits as well, but it gives that really good illusion of their growing out of the wooden base stem. And then add any more pieces that you want just for effect. I ended up putting some on the top left piece of my wood base just because it felt a little unbalanced with that corner being empty. And I think that helped balance it out a lot. And then once you have all of your pieces arranged, just glue them down. It really doesn't take much hot glue at all. 
I pressed mine into place with a pair of tweezers as opposed to my fingers because the moss definitely isn't the most protective against the heat from your fingers. So if you were to put the glue down and then push the moss into it with your fingers, you're very likely to burn yourself. So I would definitely grab something to use to push it down. And once you have attached all of your moss, your light is complete. is the finished DIY mushroom light and it is super portable it has its switches hidden in here and this little hollow point that also kind of makes it glow from within and then the second one is around the back in there and it's just so cute I think ideally I would like to mount it on the wall but because I haven't quite figured out how to do that yet it's just kind of resting here on the shelf and then even with the lights off it still looks pretty cute as a little display piece I took some mica powder and kind of dusted the tops with it so you don't really get the shine too much with this current lighting but you can see that they're a little purpley so they have a little bit of color when they're just like hanging out. You could also probably fully paint them if you wanted to and make them a little more mushroom like but I kind of like them just like this as a little bit of a, a low key color with some nice shine and then of course when it's on with a beautiful glow. And that is the tutorial. I love my mushroom light so much. It just brings me so much joy. I'm gonna be making a couple more of these as Christmas gifts, so you'll probably see that in upcoming vlogs. But if you make one, please do share and tag me or let me know. They are so much fun and they're so customizable. There's really so much you can do depending on what kind of wood base you use, what kind of moss you use, how you make your mushrooms. And I just think they're super cute. They add a little bit of that like, dark forest cottage gothness that I love and it's such a great new addition. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please do and I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone. Be well. Until next time.